Hey you! No. What are you doing? Searching how to get notes. Well, I think you should learn about source documents. I shouldn't. I just want to make. But source documents will make you so cool. <laughs> This is source document. <laughs> First off, we have the check. There are two sides to the check. The side that is kept by the business and the side that the person cashes in. This side is called the counterfoil. First, you will need to fill in the date, filling it in year, month, day on either side. Next, you will write who is receiving the check. In this case, it is John C. Are Rasul written on both sides again. Next, you will write what it's for. In this case, it is his salary, and he is receiving 7,000 Rand. Written in words on this side, with the cents indicated and only written afterwards, so that he cannot add any money to his check. He will also, and then he will also write out 7,000 Rand in the block here. The balance is the amount of money left in the business's account after they have cashed or after they have given him the check. The number here is the check number so that we can keep track of the check. And all bearer must be crossed out so that no one else may cross in his check if he loses it. Then after that you must make sure that you have written not transferable on it and underlined it and written a line over it just so that he cannot transfer it into someone else's account that he needs to pay straight after he has received it but not cashed it in. Next we have the receipt. At the top of the receipt is the name of the business issuing the receipt. First off there is the receipt number which is in this case 1738. Next, there is the date, written year, month, and day. Then we'll write who, is, who the receipt is received from, so who has paid the receipt, which in this case is J Soap. After that, you will fill in the amount, in words, 7,999 Rand and 0 cents. Now you'll write the same number in the block with a dash next to it indicating that there is no sense. Then you will write what it is received, what he has paid for, which in this case is the PC tower that he has just upgraded to. And last, we will write the employee's name who has issued the receipt. Last but certainly not least, we have the deposit slip. In this top corner we have the date, written year, month, day. Over here we have who is receiving the deposit. J Soap, who is a very lucky man, is receiving the exact amount that he just paid for his new tower. Over here we have the account number. After that we have Mr. J Soap's number in case there are any hassles in issuing the deposit. Last we have his signature indicating that he has received the deposit. After that we have the depositor's name who is depositing the money into J Soap's account. Up in this corner we have the notes. In notes we have 919 Rand deposited. In coins we have 9 Rand deposited and the total is 999 Rand deposited. After that we have checks deposited which is all the money that isn't deposited in cash. P. Dube, the co-founder of Samsung, 
has deposited 4,000 rand and zero cents and R. Jobo has deposited 3,000 rand and zero cents. That adds up to 7,000 rand and zero cents. Last but not least, we have the total, which is the cash and the checks, and that adds up to 7,999 rand and zero cents, indicated by the data. Look how many mates he has now. It works. Now, so the days.